Denmark will be facing Malta here in Malta, an important game for the qualifiers. First of all, how important it is this game also to bounce back from Italy defeat in February? Uh, of course, it's uh, important for us to come back and show that we can do better than we did against Italy. Uh, yeah, and as you say, it's uh, for the World Cup qualifiers, so uh, we need these three points. Although Malta uh, is a small team, obviously you always find some difficulties in every game. Maybe what kind of difficulties a small team like Malta can, can offer to Denmark? Uh, if they stand very compact and uh, if they uh, maybe make some uh, transitions, uh, maybe move their play up to our pitch. So uh, we need to be aware that uh, like we, we need to keep the ball and also uh, be ready if uh, Malta wants to uh, make transitions against us. Also, in a few months, Denmark will be in the European Championship, so I think these games will start to serve as a preparation for the tournament as well, no? Yeah, of course, all the games we have from now, all the trainings we have from now, it's uh, of course important for the World Cup qualifier, but everything we have from now on is also preparation for the, for the Euros. One final thing, you also play for Milan in Italy. Um, how do you describe the level uh, of women's football in Italy that it has been growing in the last few years? I think it has been growing, yeah, and I think it's... The good thing about the Italian league is that they, all the teams, I think, they have something to offer. It's difficult to play all the games, so if you don't perform and do 100%, then uh, you're not going to win the games. And that's also what I like about the, the Italian league is um, challenging.